damage from this week's storms. Now, ABC 7 News reporter Jabina Fortson is in Sonoma County live in Sebastopol with news that people really want to know, Jabina, when can they go home? Yes, uh, Dan and Alma officials are telling us that they're hoping to get residents of Guerneville back into their homes by sometime tomorrow afternoon. But that all depends on the water, which is receding a bit slower than they would have liked. You can see here, this is the water line from yesterday. So significant strides have been made here, but you can see behind me, there's still a long way to go. And this is just in Sebastopol. In Sebastopol Thursday, we finally got a look at some damage left behind by the floodwaters. Waters receding it looks like it's down maybe a couple feet in elevation and uh, you know headed out the good way people are ready to move forward we watched the owner of Gerard's Paella rescue his pots by kayak the race continues his company is catering an event in San Francisco it's the um, the opening of off the grid so we've got to, we have to do this because it's the first day of it. Adam Parks is a business owner at the Barlow Community Market, a popular cooperatively owned grocery. And the floodgates should have been staged and ready to be put on uh, all the buildings, but they weren't. And uh, so that's a big frustration for everybody is why weren't they? We couldn't get a straight answer to that question, but shop owners at this point are just trying to roll with it. If the food can be sold, this is probably the next best thing. Everything safe to eat is going to the food bank. Throughout the day, we heard some refer to Sebastopol as Sebastopol. Yeah. Do you think they'll let us in there, though? Floodwater swallowed up this couple's mobile home and much of the community center. There's just a number of activities from for all citizens, and to have this happen, it's we're just trying to figure out what do we do next. A fundraiser they plan for next week is going to be a good start. The question now is when can people get back inside their property? The big challenge is going to be to get the county to pitch in, get health inspectors out here, uh, get through the red tape so that we can open and turn on the cash registers as soon as possible. Guerneville residents could be home by Friday afternoon. Back out here live, you can see someone on a kayak over there. There's also a paddleboard in the water here. Officials are telling me that they're hoping to have this intersection at Moore Street and Highway 12 open sometime tomorrow. But again, that all depends on the water. For now, reporting is the Passable. Jobina Fortson, ABC 7 News. Just amazing. Jobina, thanks so much. ABC 7